and this is Telta, who we've never heard of before. Relatively new brand, although well, they've worked in the industry for years. A little bit of history there. There he is. Telta was launched in 2022. And they're really, really nice awnings. They are. I love the colours, the styling of it, everything. So we'll try and grab somebody in a second to uh, talk. Yeah, talk us through. Um, Just smile. Um, not pretty. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I don't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all on video, but don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you were saying that you don't, uh, yeah, you never heard of us. Uh, there's good reason for that, and that is because we are a new brand in the market. It's our first public exhibition uh, where we're showing the awnings in the UK. Um, but we have a lot of history in the market. So our old family business used to be Camper, which we sold to uh, Dometic uh, a bit over four years ago. And now I, I have come in with a new range of awnings with Telta that I believe are the best on the market. They and they're designed good. in response to historic feedback from retailers and consumers such as yourselves about improving all of the small details that we could have just done a little bit better in the past. So if I take you through those quickly, one of the big things is material. Condensation, yeah, we condensation, that. condensation. So most touring owners on the market use a polyester based non-breathable fabric. We have developed a breathable but lightweight fabric so that you will experience substantially less condensation, it will remain cooler in warm weather and it will be more durable so you'll get more use out of it. Yeah. The key thing about other breathable materials that may already be on the market is that they're very heavy and that is why it was very keen for us to develop something that was lightweight but still manageable. Lovely. Yeah. So that's the first thing. Also, it means that we don't have to use tape seams inside. We're able to use a water swelling thread instead. Because it is natural fabrics, because we're cotton based instead, it means that it will swell and in contact with water to prevent water ingress. Yeah. Whereas you'll see on a lot of other touring ones again, they'll be taped everywhere where water can yeah. come through or over wear and tear, tear over time, it can peel off. And again, be another area of weakness. Yeah. You will not find that. No. The they look strong, actually. They look yeah, well. They look good. They, yeah, they look they really strong, look but they well. look lovely too. Yeah. So we've looked to use premium fabrics throughout the awning. So it's not just the outer fabric; it's the curtains as well. They're a high-quality cotton. Yeah, right. than the kind of I describe them as uh, cheap shower curtains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yes, I know what you mean. Yes. So it's giving you something that's substantial. Feels nice. Yep. And actually, when you close them, it gives you privacy. Rather They're than darker, yeah. Exactly. yeah. No, I, I know what you're saying there, yeah. yeah. You'll notice that everything is a bit taller. Mm. Yeah. So we're really emphasising on the first floor possible front side, so that the room inside is completely usable. So we want the floor space you have inside, you'll be able to walk all the way to the front and use it all which means that our warnings have a lot more usable space, but it's taller as well. So if you imagine at home, the ceilings aren't here, are they? No. They're all the way up here. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to emulate with our warnings, so that when you walk through a door... Well, that's it, because he is tall. And we, yeah, we have that problem sometimes. You got... Yeah, and it's kind of like that. And it's, um, yeah, so that's one of the things that we've really had a big for. But it also means we have much larger windows as well. I so see again, that. it continues yeah. from the inside, that clean look, that feels open, so it feels like a nice, spacious place to be. Mm. Mm. Um, you'll also find that our tubes are significantly stronger. So, how is the question? Yeah. So if I bring you inside. Okay, we'll go this way around then. It, uh, what? Pause, pause it, then. Yeah, it's alright, don't worry, yeah, so I forgot. That's the typical usage you will find inside of it with an old, is that people are actually spending a lot of time with it. So when you spend a lot of time with it, small details matter. Yes. It's good when you don't have 
clutter everywhere, you don't have islets everywhere, toggles, all sorts of things, you don't know what they're meant yeah. for. It's meant to have a clean look. So what I did notice, like, which I liked, was there were lots and lots of Velcro taps. There's a number of Velcro traps yeah. for you allow uh, some lighting, but yeah. for other uses as well. Yeah. Uh, you'll also see later one of our accessories. Uh, we're trying to give everything as much value as possible, so we're trying to make things have more than one purpose where they can be used in different scenarios. So I spoke about the height before, and I think I know. Be all, all the way to the front of the awning, whereas other designs will typically they all go down, don't they? It's about half a meter in the front. Yeah. That is also one of the reasons why our panels are substantially larger. They are, when they're you great. Add annex to them, it yes. means that it's actually usable. <coughs> I can walk from one end of the annex to the other. Yeah. Whereas on other annexes, you have to have to fall into them. And they might say, oh, it's large enough for uh, two people to sleep in. The reality is, you're never going to get more than one. Whereas uh, ours are designed around the end of the Deluxe double air bed, yeah, for example. I like the big windows because when it's raining as well, you sit in here and you can watch the weather and you can see a lot. You know, you're still dry. <laughs> you know, it's just nice. So, the tubes. Why are tubes better than anyone else in the market? So, all inflatable ones are designed to be used around the outside of the And it's really about the outer sleeve that gives it the yeah. uh, strength because that's what keeps it together and allows you to get more pressure in so that the awning is sturdier. So whilst other manufacturers recommend as low as 4 PSI, we recommend 9. And it's tested up to 25. So, why are our tubes better? Other manufacturers will use polyethylene or a mix of polyethylene and polyester. We use nylon. Nylon is stronger, more reliable, lighter in weight, smaller in pack size, and has about 22% elasticity, whereas polyethylene has 0%. And on a part that is constantly expanding and contracting, mm. it means it's the perfect material. And that is why you'll see in here, on other awnings of this size, which is a 260, there will actually be a centre leg running up here. Yeah. Mm, yes, we are able yes. to remove that because we have much more substantial... Yeah, tubes. see that, yeah. Also, we additionally, we form the tubes around the connecting ones. So these are all individual tubes with isolation valves for you to be able to close them off if you ever had an issue on the tubes. Again, to clarify, in the very rare circumstances. Yeah, yeah. But with that formation, again, it means it's stronger against what it's sitting against, which yeah. means it will perform better in high winds, but it's also just as you see it now, it's why it feels so stable. Yeah. So that's just one of so the other spacious, things. isn't it? Yeah. Also, you often find at the end of some tubes they use a bit of Velcro about that large, and you think, what's that going to do? And you end Not up having to yeah. pop it up all the time to get it back in place. Again, substantial Velcro is used here to keep the tubes together so that you never have to play around with it and it will stay in the correct position. So it's all those little details to just improve. Makes a difference to mm. everything. That's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Just stop that there. Morning and can I fit this annex to it? Because it's actually a decent size. Oh, so, yeah. Our annex, because we have the taller and wider side panels, it means you get something really so significant. I like about that too. So I can walk all the way to the end here, yep. and it's still more useful space. So our annex, it gives you extra living area. Yes. It comes with the high quality curtains like the rest of the awning and, the, and the breathable fabric. But also, it comes with a dividing panel. Yep. If you wanted to instead use this as an area for storage or for yep. bikes or something, the door at the end of the extra ventilation panel for easy access in and more ventilation, and also a inner tent. And that inner tent can fit in a deluxe double airbed. Yeah. Whereas you'll find on Some most of them, other addicts, you're yeah. crawling in, oh, yeah. and also, I mean, they're not even large enough for you know much more than a single airbed. No. So we wanted to give a reasonable yeah. addition to no, I, I think it's great. <laughs> so I think it's brilliant. Yeah. So granite poles, you'd be very familiar with them. It's just something that, I mean, without them, you're still able to drop the panel in half, but it just keeps it a lot Not quite cleaner. the same. Yeah, it's it nicer. Or, yeah. And that's all great when it's nice, warm day, and want yes. to make sure yes. breeze coming through. But what happens when it's wet and it's rainy? 
Well, you can convert it into a front to back hanging rail as an area oh, for you to be able to hang wet items yeah, such as jackets good, yeah. and other things like that. So we're just trying to give you, with everything that we do, the best value for money. Yeah. Rather than sell you as this as a separate accessory and then say, oh, we can upsell you to this yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. strong emphasis on value for money and a quality product. Have it all, yeah. Yeah. The windbreak is Ooh. that you actually have full adjustment of this part. So you see here where we have it set up in a 90 degree angle. Yeah. That can also go all the way to 180 degree angle. Whereas on most inflatable windbreaks in the market, they are fixed in position and just create an enclosure. So this is really nice if you want to just have an actual windbreak rather yeah. than an enclosure. It's actually it's really a bit of both really. <laughs> and it's easy to move around. Yeah. And if you still want to make that enclosure, they come in two panels, but there is also the option just to sit that, together yeah. as an additional one. Mm. Material is PVC. Why? We don't need a windbreak to be breathable, but it, it's probably going to get mucky and wet. And it's easy PVC to clean. is really durable, mm. but it is also easy to clean. Yeah. So that makes it the best material to use for. I agree. Yeah. 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 How much are they? So they. Are Oh, the tunnel fixing. Um, I don't think most people who talk about a, a drive away kind of morning actually have ever used it. And I think it comes down to the whole people will often say to you, yeah, get a drive away kit and you can thread it through when you put it on the cassette. And when oh, you want to go yeah. away, you can pull it out. Yeah. Okay, that's all very good if your vehicle's this high. Yeah. What happens when it's 2.7 meters tall? Yeah. You need a step ladder. Yeah. Okay, all right, you can do it the first time you set up, and you can do it the first time you drive away. You can just pull the driveway kit out. Okay. When you come back to your vehicle then, you you've got to be yeah. centimeter perfect, and then thread it back through the cassette at 2.7 meters high. Yeah. It's just not feasible. So for someone who's actually used the product, our recommendation instead the straps that we have on both corners and in the centre. They are webbing straps like what we have on all our awnings, so they're soft, they're not going to leave scratches or marks on the, on the motorhome. Yeah. And it allows you to throw them over the other side of the vehicle and simply and peg them uh, down. Uh, yeah. When you want to drive away, you unpeg them and put it onto it, the yeah. other side. That's easy. All you have to so do. when you come back, it's very easy to set back up again. Yeah, yeah. Because the tunnel is just a flexible area to keep you sheltered to get into yeah. the main. Yeah, tunnel. to get in and out of the van. Yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. where it shows some of those things. Also, a further recommendation is I always say to people get a tennis ball, cut it in half, put a little hole in it, so you can thread the strap through, and then you've got a little bit of weight. Yes. That will make yeah. it easier to throw over Good while idea. still yeah. being something that's not going to damage the vehicle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that will just make it that step easier. Again, yeah. that is from my own practical use. Yeah, yeah. And I just think that it's all about thinking, you know, actually the practicality of using it. Especially when, you know, you're in your wheelchair and it's... Front on this one. Yeah, same air beams. Pole system there for hanging. And this has got the bedroom annex or extension. What do you want to use it for? Um, yeah. Really nice. Really, really nice.